crock pot, especially this time of the year when I have so much work to do. What we are going to do is we are putting a whole bunch of things together. Now let me explain a little. So I get cans like this that the, our local food pantry, the food bank, they cannot give these away. Like that's just their rules. So if the labels are off of the canned food, they can't give it away so then they call me and I get it it's been a while since that I gotta ask John if he has more of these without the labels and then our my sister-in-law and her husband came up on Saturday and that's my husband's side of the family and gave a whole bunch of boxes and then in the boxes were these canned potatoes so I think they had two and my kids really don't eat them like this but I love this in casseroles so I have all them diced potatoes then I found a can of green beans I have my own ham home canned but I like to use these up first and then I have cream soup so I didn't finish telling you the story so I opened a bunch of these up I wasn't sure what they were and it was cream soups so we were going to make a casserole and then I got a free Easter ham with my points at the grocery store so we're gonna put all this together what did this cost me zero Woohoo! cost me zero i didn't pay for anything wait it's gonna cost me a little bit for some shredded cheese but this was free these were free the ham was free my totally free meal and who doesn't love free all right we're gonna go ahead and i might open this one it looks like it's starting to rust a little bit if it's tomato then i'll use it for something else i probably will open that we're gonna go ahead and open everything up and put it in the crock pot. So I am going to drain all the potatoes. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting up the ham into little cubes and then I'm going to freeze the rest of it and then we'll have it in the casserole. All right, so we got everything opened up, the cans. I'm gonna open this can up to see what it is. I don't think it's tomato, but I'm gonna go ahead and see. It's probably gonna be tomato soup. I did have the tomato soups label, but I found this one. Yes, it is tomato soup. So I'm gonna use that for another recipe. All right, now we're gonna put everything in the crock pot and then we are done. And I don't need to do anything until it's time to eat. Now we'll add some cheese. Just a little bit, because cheese is expensive. And I might add some of my canned cheese. Canned cheese makes everything better. I'm gonna add that, and then I'll see you a little bit when lunch is done, and we'll get working on some other things today. Yum, yum, lunch is ready, yum, yum. It turned out absolutely amazing. I have never in my life ate potatoes that were canned, store-bought canned, and they are amazing. Seriously, they're so easy, and I love it that they're in cubes like this. I just never bought store-bought canned potatoes. How easy is that to make anything? Potato salad? So I'm gonna eat some lunch, and then I'm going to, it got kind of chilly this morning. I'm gonna eat some lunch, then I'm gonna go into the garden because I have to work on something out there with my cold frames. I might plant a couple seeds and just do some work around the house. But I wanted to, ah, can't even speak. I'm so excited to eat and it's so hot. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit down and eat with hubby. We always eat together, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat some of this and then I will see you out in the garden. But. I didn't have that many green beans. I should have opened another can of them, but the cans that I have are my home canned green beans. I'm hoping this year the deer will not eat my green beans because they eat them every year, but we'll have to see. That's what they look like. All right, I'll see you guys out in the garden after I finish my meal. The 
because of the storms that we had, I'm just going around and picking up all of the sticks that are in the garden and cleaning up the garden. And then I'll meet you back at the house and I'll talk to you a little bit about everything that you've seen in today's video. Just a little commentary on the video that you're seeing today. This actually was filmed in April. Now, if you would have seen yesterday's video, I did do the whole transformation. You've seen a small video clip there at the end in that video that shows current. But this is the last one, I think, that shows the outside that was actually in April. So you can see things aren't quite as green as they are now in May. But I really wanted to get this video out to all of you and be a little more current with my videos. So I really enjoy working in my garden. I work every single day now in my garden. And I hope you saw yesterday's video. And that was the whole transformation and what you're going to be seeing coming up in the probably next week. I think you'll be really delight, delighted and happy to see all the work that Hubby and I have been doing. All right, so this was the greenhouse in April. And here in just a moment, I will show you the greenhouse current as of now. So this is what it looked like in April. Now we are into May, and this is my greenhouse here in May. As you can see, there's a big difference. So our homestead, it's just transformation from one month to the next. And in June, it's even going to look different, more different again. So this is what it looks like now here in May. And I'm not going to show you anymore because there actually is going to be a full tour. And I will wait and do that in a future video. But I just wanted to show the difference between April and May. A lot of work going on all around me. People are still cleaning up after the storms. But I hope that you're inspired by my videos and really what I would like to portray to all of you is excitement in an unexciting life you know most of us live everyday lives but I want to take it a little step ahead and I want to make it something exciting and something that is very inspiring for all of you and that's just sharing with you my day-to-day -day life and it is really extraordinary in the ordinary life and when we look back in history of our loved ones and history, it's always so exciting to read about the everyday life of people and the everyday life that we live. And that is something that is extraordinary. And when we are at the point at the end of our life, we're not going to think about all of the high points of our life. We're going to think about the everyday and in trying to enjoy the everyday of our life. Do something today that will make a difference. Plant one seed. Plant one seed of happiness in your life. Work on projects that you enjoy. Create, wherever you live, your own little environment, heaven on earth. Take all of the situations that you're living with that are struggling you, that are giving you anxiety, and do something and create something to counteract that. The world that we're living in is not going to give you any kind of peace, but you can create your own home. Even when the turmoil is all around you, you can make your own heaven on earth, family style. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Let me know what you would like to see on my videos. Do you like these daily vlogs? Because, well, sometimes it's just daily life. <laughs> Bye everybody.